And it's time. Yes, it's been about a year of training, and Rock Lobster has grown quite a bit. Yes, call Shush. So we're going to try our luck at the Blue Sky Cup. We have rain to top off the cold air here in the Papas Arena. Under this condition, Blue Sky Cup is now beginning. Snack, let's go for it. It's not going to be the... Oh, good. Oakley Man's here. Because of course he is. As said, Rock Lobster is a bit beefier than last you saw him. And he's ready to give it his all. I don't know what my proclivity toward tanks has been throughout these Let's Plays. Actually, I'm usually much more partial to squishy wizards like Galley and Pixie. I guess this is just forcing me out of my comfort zone. Bonk. <laughs> Those claws are like... I guess because of the golem subtype, they look, like, really flat on each side, so, like, his claws are more like a wrench. But they're not claws for, for cutting and tearing, he just, like, bonks them on the head instead. Oh, good. My favorite enemy to fight. You at home might be like, well... I don't see what's so bad. I mean, yeah, he has kind of a lot of HP, but no, you don't understand. This guy is a nightmare. This guy is the noob crusher for Monster Rancher 2. And when Gym Leader Ed was able to beat him in his live stream, I sincerely congratulated him because stopping this guy is no small feat. And of course he hits on a 40%. I mean, I'd miss on that, but... But this is Oakley Man, so of course. Despite the fact that he has 50 accuracy, he'll just continue hitting the crap out of me. Yes, this is years of bitter, uh, bitter resentment speaking, but... See, this is what I'm talking about. He's hitting me consistently on 40%, and I'm missing consistently on 60 that's just the Oakley Man experience. Of course. That's just how he is, though. Like, he just always seems to have a dodge rate and an accuracy rate way higher than his stats indicate. It makes him super frustrating to deal with. Like, it's genuinely unfun to fight him. And that is another reason I, I typically tell newcomers to start with Monster Rancher 1, is Monster Rancher 2 is a lot more ruthless. It's like the E rank in, in Monster Rancher 2 is pretty much the D rank in Monster Rancher 1. You can pretty much take any particular letter grade in Monster Rancher 2, and it's basically the letter grade above what Monster Rancher 1 was most of the time. I think we can still win, because if I can beat this guy, and I don't think that's going to be a question, I said no one in this tournament's had a perfect win record. I saw that before. This might allow me to fight for the number one slot in a rematch. Oh, Oakley Man lost. What a shame. So now I'll battle the guy I fought in the first place. So now you guys know why Oakley Man is kind of a meme in Monster Rancher culture. Just nobody likes fighting him. He feels kind of cheap, and he's 
basically just like a D rank monster chilling out in E rank, and he never goes away. You can never, like, cycle him out or anything. You just have to hope that your luck is good enough that you just don't run into him. I've seen some people uh, in the comment section, not only of my videos, but of other Monster Rancher videos, where some people have done some uh, analysis via save states on emulators to try to see if there's, like, some invisible number magic happening. And the general consensus appears to be that oftentimes one can, opponent or the other will get some... 10-15% boost to their accuracy that's just unseen by the player. And if that's true, I can't even say I'd be surprised. And again, that's just how Oakley Man feels. That's why he's so much worse than the rest of the E rank. Because he raised his skill, which is lucky. It's weird that... A Lobster crab would make a weird high-pitched whistling sound, right? Anyway, I feel pretty con pretty confident that we can actually be E rank now. That knowledge in mind, we're gonna go ahead and try to do precisely that. The day has arrived. We're going to break into the D-Rank, which, as I said, is going to be a very important stepping stone in its own right. But we're going to stay in the D-Rank and just kind of power up once we clear this. No monsters gather in this place with ambition to be a tomorrow's star. Surely there's a better way to have phrased that. So I'm the first, this is the first official tournament for us. I feel a bit nervous. Let's go for victory. Uh, of course. It's only been a few weeks since the last tournament, so I'm not really much stronger than I was before. So what will be, will be. Part of being a rancher is accepting setbacks. Even if that setback is an annoying brown blob of clay. Well, that's that. Now, technically speaking, you can use the Suiki Suezo to jump your ranch straight to C rank. You're welcome to do that. But, you know, you'll just be a C rank ranch, and then you'll just have to start with, like, an E rank monster, because it dies after one week. There's no real benefit in doing so. But a lot of uh, prerequisites in terms of unlocking, you have to get to B rank for several species. I mean, it varies a bit, but it's that's generally the, one of the thresholds that a lot of stuff comes available at. See, I played enough tabletop games and, in particular, D one hundred titles to fully understand how someone can miss on a really high accuracy percent chance doesn't stop it from being, like, the most infuriating thing in the world when it happens, though. Especially since the computer really enjoys rubbing salt in the wounds by hitting you with things like, oh, I only had a 20% chance, but I'm going to hit you consistently across several attacks, whereas you'll miss if your accuracy is as low as 50 or 60. Feels bad, man, is what I'm saying. And of course, you're going to give Oakley Man a straight win record just to spite me, I'm sure. Bonk. 
Just to be a little more aggressive since my defense should allow me to be so. I knew accuracy was going to be a soft spot to begin with, but again, I have no delusions that I'm going to get Rock Lobster up to S rank, let alone to the final four. Of course. What? Okay. All right, everyone in the comment section, you saw that happen. You saw him essentially just hand the tournament to me, so I guess it was meant to be. I legitimately don't know what to say to that, but I'm not going to sneeze at it. Don't look at a gift zoom in the mouth, I suppose. Oops. I didn't wash. I just wanted to see the attack, you know, and... <laughs> I haven't used it, I've been using nothing but punch, and now I, like, can't get an attack off. There we go. Now, now we at least know what that looks like, so... So that's good. That has a lot of health. That's a pretty satisfying attack when it lands. Did you go right into foolery and then get to attack, or did I see that wrong? I must have seen that wrong. Because I don't think that's possible. Alright. Well, we're officially D rank now. Even if it happened under the most extraordinary of circumstances. Yeah, he pretty much threw the tournament to me. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Oh, wait. <laughs> yes, I do. I still won. I don't care. Principle is for people with those things. I'm here to win. And if my only particular rival of any merit throws to me, I'm not going to make a fuss about it. That's for shonen anime protagonists. Nice. Having a lot of fame feels good, even if it is ultimately pointless. <laughs> Plus one to speed, that's super helpful. Those stats are random, it doesn't have anything to do with the stats you used in the tournament or anything. There you go, buddy. Yes, who is it? Is this next residence? Please sign here. Okay. Thank you. Good. Have a nice day. I wonder what it is. It's Jemima. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, like, what else do you think it's gonna be? Based on your performances, we will grant you the rank mentioned on the right. I must authorize trainer rank first. It's the notice of trainer ranking. You know what I'm talking about? Of course. Guess I didn't tell you. Let's say they become a master. Hi. Cool, did you hear about the meat? Oh, wow, we're tripping this event, like, immediately. We were just getting right into it. Master Pabs, what are you so excited about? It's not good for your health. Don't be silly. Battle between Ima and Fimba is finally about to begin. How could I not be excited about this? Really? Fimba's the neighboring continent's monster association, isn't it? N yes, it's the biggest and the oldest association. <laughs> Yes, it's finally confirmed. Every four years, we will select representatives from five different grades. It's five on five battle. Representative. Yes, we can't be one. No. If you win an elimination tournament held at the end of this month, you can be the one. Colton Snack, why don't you enter the tournament? Yes, I'd love to. Don't you agree with me, Snack? Good. I'll be looking forward to seeing you. The game will be held at the end of the month. Good luck. It doesn't give us a whole lot of time to prepare, given that we literally just came off the heels of the official. It's great to be representative. Got to be one. Yeah, you don't know how right you are. You missed this opportunity. We're not getting it again for a long time. And by the way, like I said, 
four different species unlocks hinge on you doing it. I'll see you there when we're ready for the... Uh, elimination. Literally just elimination grade D. <laughs> I thought it had a special name, but it doesn't. I'll see you there. Alright, a short hop into the future, and it's time for the Elimination Grade D. Which I thought had a fancy name, and doesn't. Elimination Grade D. You know, Grade D makes it sound worse. Like, if you say Rank D, then it's like, oh, okay, it's your letter rank. But if you say Grade D, it sounds like I barely avoided failing. Rain is pouring here in the Torbal Arena. Under this condition, we are welcoming the start of the elimination match. The victor will become a representative of Ima, and will be entering the two-continent meet. I'm so nervous. I get to make Rock Lobster a representative. Let's go for it. Yeah, I have no idea how strong these guys are going to be. I have not had time to prepare for this properly. So I really just got to hold my breath and hope that this works out. Really accurate, really dodgy. Hopefully we can make it work. That's a hopper, by the way. That's, uh, not only a new breed, it's actually one that we're going to need to raise later on. But we'll get there. They're kind of like, uh, green-tailed lemurs. Oh, come on. This game sometimes, I swear. One of the things that gave me reservations about doing a Let's Play of Monster Rancher 2 is the fact that it's so much harder, and it's one thing to play the game for yourself, and everyone should, let me be clear about that, um, but it's a different level of expectation when I'm playing, recording, and also being my own personal monster John Madden and doing commentary for it as well, because not only do I have to explain it, I have to win. <laughs> and missing twice on 88% did not feel particularly good. Capella. Wonder if that means he enjoys, you know, singing without musical accompaniment. Actually, we're kind of similar stat distribution-wise. Except if he has, a, like, really, really high speed for a tank. Let's try to make it work, I guess. Don't want to get hit by that dice attack. I know how powerful that can be. And I've raised gels before. I'm actually... Uh, precisely what I was just talking about. And I get hit twice on 35%. Now watch as I miss repeatedly on 70 I have no choice but to just, like, pummel this guy. If I, if I don't, I will lose. <laughs> I was really expecting the worst there. Alright, Rock Lobster. Alright, I set to beat the one who's lost everyone else. But she has the best stat distribution! Oh my gosh! That's actually genuinely unnerving! I better get close fast! I'm not gonna like what happens if she hits me! Move it, Rock Lobster, move it! I lucked out with that first hit. I can't afford to... get blasted. She has the best stat distribution of any monster in this tournament. She must have gotten, uh, really bad luck, or the enemy had the presence of mind to stay close enough that she wasn't able to be a threat. Oof. I've raised pixies. I know precisely how dangerous they can be. Alright. I was a little nervous at first. I'll, I'll admit, I was getting a little, uh... A little angsty there, because I want to win, but 
This is the first time we're going to be the representative. Our name will go down in history as the D rank representative. <laughs> I mean, I think people care a lot more about like S and A rank tournaments. But that was even the thing in Monster Rancher 1. I don't know if anyone noticed on this, but uh, as you go up the ranks, the Coliseums get filled more and more. It's like an E and D, there's barely anyone in the stands. And then, like, for A and S, they're like packed shoulder to shoulder. In Monster Rancher 2, every tournament is always shoulder to shoulder. Whew. For having very little time to prep, that went really well. You're not allowed to learn a lesson. Lesson is, uh, applied statistics are awful. Woo! Go Rock Lobster! Rock Lobster says, I want a dummy. You know what? You have earned your dummy. Now, if people are wondering if that has any mechanical effect, it doesn't. A lot of those gift items are just that. They're gift items. And it... Really, they only exist to be requested, because your monster will get a lot of stress if you tell them no. And really, it's just there to kind of vex the player. You have mail. Thank you. Now, there are items they can request that do have mechanical effects, and they will, like, do the effect they're supposed to. That's bad timing. Is this next residence? Please sign here. Okay. Thank you. Good. Have a nice day. It's from Emma. Based on your achievements, you're qualified to participate in the tournament. I'm a Femba Meet Rank D. It's an invitation to the two continent meet. We must have Rock Lobster at best form by the end of this month. By V and Cult. Being excited does not allow you to compromise grammar. I just extra caution and let it get injured. Yep. Now, obviously, the Result does not actually matter, as I've said. What matters is that we participate. So now, we have very precious limited time. Uh, I literally get one week to train, basically. And uh, he's coming along nicely. I think I can actually get a skill level up before then. Come on, Rock Lobster, let's do this. He's actually gotten a few greats on his training. He, he's actually done uh, fairly well for being so young. Problem is, he's very prone to stress, so... Even my dabbling in a never-tired method has actually kind of backfired already. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna play it overly safe. Technically, I probably could just let him do a light training and he'd be fine, but... Eh. I want to put my best foot forward. It's the X day of the meat snack. And being recorded in the, the history. Let's not get embarrassing results. Colt, are you sure <laughs> you actually speak English? I don't want to be rude, but it's like... <sighs> It just raises too many questions. This is the character who says, I wonder it buds the flower during the mock event. Here we are, the first two continent meet. The greatest monsters in the two continent... Two continent... Are all gathered and about to battle. The audience is putting down a fat beat for us. Yes. Phase one of our unlocking plan is already well underway. Snek, this is the first meet. Please fight a good fight for the honor of Ima. Yes. I'll count on you. Jeez, I'm nervous. Gotta win. Let's get a victory, Snek. Now, we will announce the battle schedule for the Ima Fimba meet. Yep, the E rank cannot participate, which is why this event did not trip until we were already uh, at D rank. Mentioned five matches will be held now. And if some of these names look familiar, well, they should. They're actually monsters that you fight in Monster Rancher 1, including Jet, Quarty, Riston, and Lightning, all of whom I fought in the Monster Rancher 1 Let's Play. Good luck, everyone, and do your best to honor your association. Wait, Snack. She is... Are you Miss Holly? Yes, though she's wearing green now instead of red. Cool, I'm your fan. 
Um, may I ask for your autograph? Here? S sure. Here. Thank you very much. You're the most popular female trainer. I can show off your autograph to my friend. So you... you're also aiming to be a trainer? Yes, my name is Colt. I want to become like you. I know the path is tough, but hang in there. Don't get defeated. Looking forward to seeing you in the tournament. Yes! Snick, I'm so glad I'm able to enter this tournament. Let's get going. But now begin the I am a Fimba meet. We're going to fight against Holly. Go easy on us, Colton Snack. We're going to win, right, Snack? Oh, we're planning on winning, too. See you guys at the battle. Say, Snack, do you want to give Rock Lobster advice? Of course. That is always the correct answer. Mm, this isn't looking great for us. It's a very defensive build, Tiger. And Tigers are just good monsters, so we'll see how this goes. But again, it doesn't matter. It's totally okay if I lose. Larf. Got strain. Gotta love it. I'm gonna charge up my guts. <clears throat> Charge up my guts a little bit before I go to town. Okay, come on. Nice. Oof. Really likes will sapping, or gut sapping, I guess. No, that's more of a Swayzo tactic. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna lose. Oh yeah, that just sealed it. Well, I got my last laugh in, so not too bad. Yep. And again, it does not matter. In fact, if the rest of my team goes on to win, we still get the prize pot anyway. I didn't really have time to prepare him for the tournament. Like, as soon as I hit D-Rank, I kind of hit the, hit the ground running, so I'm not too surprised that that was the end result. Oh, we lost. Well, let's work hard and win next time. It wasn't a knockout, so I'm, like, I'm not even that worried. It's like, uh, Ima took that one. Winner of the last battle was Rock Geiger. Alright. The winner of the last battle is Aspen. Alright. Yeah, I guess the rest of our team has to make up for my incompetence. <laughs> The winner of the last battle was Gotrek, which means we get to win the prize, because we've already won best of three. But let's see what happens. Nope. Oh, yep, they took the highest and the lowest, but we took everything else, so not bad. The winner of the last battle was Lightning. We lost the battle. Now the tournament is over. Hey, Mr. Karn. Well, I'm going to announce the result. This year's Ima vs. Finva tournament winner is... I'm a team. I'm a team god of victory. Applauds from the spectators are everlasting to appreciate this year's winner. Rock Lobster. Rock Geiger. Aspen. Gotrek. Ordorf. And even though we don't get a win bonus, because I didn't win, and I didn't fight those other fights, uh, we still get something for it. So, honestly, that went really well. And that is, I think, largely luck of the draw. So whether you get the prize pot or not is large as whether the AI feels like giving it to you. Even though we lost the match, I'm glad that Ima won the Ima won the tournament. Well, I mean, I guess the Ima is technically not grammatically incorrect as it's International Monster Association, but... This is a weird way to phrase it. Next time I want to fight with more style and win. We got to try our best in raising rock lobster well. Sorry guys, we won this time. Alright, we lost this time. But we'll win next time, right Snack? See you next time. I can't stop saying the word time. I'm glad the I'm on our champions. Rock lobster disappointed, let's cheer it up. Seems pleased. And you did a good job. Like, honestly, if that last hit, like, if it hit critical, probably would have won. So, I mean, that was right down to the wire for a monster who was just objectively stronger than us. 
And you did really well there, so good on you, Rock Lobster. I'm proud of you. Snack, you know the official tournament at the end of this month? Yes, who is it? Hi, Colt. Thank you for the other day. You too, Snack. Thanks for your work at the meet. You're welcome. I brought you here today. Well, we had a meeting with Fimba the other day. And Fimba agreed to let us learn the techniques of how to raise four of their monsters. Really? Only the trainers who participated in the meet can learn them, though. Say, Snack, I'll arrange it so you can raise those four monsters. Worm, Hanger, Galley, and Mew. When you find these monsters, try your best to raise them. I'm leaving now. So, if you're wondering why, when you first started Monster Rancher 2, why you kept getting the only an authorized I'm a breeder can unlock this disc message, this is a big part of it. Thank you. Oh, Snack, I wonder what those monsters look like. I'm looking forward to finding out. Let's go to the shrine and look for them. Seems tired. Well, he fought hard, so... So, phase one of our plan went shockingly well. <laughs> I was honestly expecting things to be much harder than they actually were. So Rock Lobster's off to a pretty decent start. But we're going to need to power up some more. We're, yeah, we are not ready for uh, an official... But we are going to power up, and we'll try the next d rank tournament in a couple months, and see how we go from there. In fact, it might actually be time to try out a Rantry. We have some spending money. You know what? Let's do it. This is a good opportunity. I'm going to save Scum, because that is the kind of coward I am. Uh, I think his stress is really high for some reason. You will never see the monster be referred to as very well upon status if their stress is high, even if their fatigue is zero. There we go. Didn't want to send him on a rantry if he was in bad shape. Want to send our monster to an rantry? Oh, you have to fill out in the paperwork for the rantry. Write down the monster name and the trainer's name. Yes, um, this is our first time visiting here. I'm not familiar with this at all. You don't know anything about it. What are they teaching these days? Not a friendly fellow, is he? Let's see... Uh, Snack and Colt. The rantry term is a month. During that period, you're not allowed contact with the monster. You choose a location from five different sites, and it costs you 2,000 gold. Oh, but some locations are not for low-ranked monsters. A wild monster appears around occasionally. Wild monster? It's the monster who attacks monsters during the rantry. That's a really weird way to phrase it, but it means that the courses have wild monsters nearby. If your monster wins, you get prize money. There is a chance that your monster will get killed. Unnecessary capitalization and no punctuation. Got enough explanation? Yes, now I understand. Go ahead and choose a location, quick. We definitely gotta do accuracy. There is some chance to acquire a new technique there. Now, this is confusing, because for a long time, back when we were in middle school, Cog and I kind of thought that this was like an enemy select screen. It is not. This shows you all the monsters who can show up on the course that you have selected. Now, in terms of which ones you'll encounter, generally it has to do with your rank, Sea Rock. I think we have a rival here. But generally, you only find monsters around your rank, or I think one level in either direction. If you beat an A or S-ranked monster, you also get their card. Or at least that's how it used to work. Um, I think they're actually trainable now, and if you beat them, their disc becomes unlocked. Now, there is no S-ranked monster on this course. It's only A, but uh, I'm not too worried about that. And technically, that would be a prerequisite for a 100% unlock. Um, yeah, I'm not doing that. That's so luck-based that that would physically bring me to pain the same way the Ghost Event Monster Rancher 1 did. Go, go, Rock Lobster! Now, interestingly enough, the icon for it isn't present anymore, but you can skip these animations by hitting the cancel button. For some reason, they kept it in the Arantry, but not on the ranch training, and the icon for it just doesn't show up regardless. Not sure how that was skill and not just brute force. Skill get. Let's 
small raft. Now his loyalty isn't maxed out 100%, so he could still mess this up. So we'll see how he does. Dropping something made of solid stone from that height would definitely sink that raft. <laughs> I have to think. Success. Ah, oh, those gains are pitiful. It's obvious he's still a baby. Hungry sharks. Bop him in the snoot. Yeah, so the animations are uh, a bit more detailed, a bit more fun than Monster Rancher 1, where they use the same training animation. Whoops. I figured that would happen. That just means he gets to try again. Now, it's four weeks always, no matter what. So if your monster messes up a lot, you, you won't get past, like, the first or second event. So you want their loyalty to be decently high. But generally, they'll also unlock the skill on the first week of training, so it's not a bad investment. Yeah, he just blew it. That was pretty bad, actually. It might be worth it just for the attack. Alright, new technique. Yeah, I'll praise you for the new attack. That was... Might, that might have been a colossal waste of money, though. I'm not going to be too overly nice about it. Oh, nice. That's, that's pretty decent. I like that. It's expensive, but it will also fill that gap, so that, that's good. That's worth having. And that's what we're going to call it for now. I'm going to power up and try to tackle the D-Rank. And I will see you when I see you, whether that's in a few seconds or next week's video.